Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Saturday. It's really Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, September 7, 2019. Hey, how about a pattern review today? I haven't done a pattern review for a long time. And I'm dedicating this video to my good friend Deb in Missouri. <laughs> Because Deb has said to me 50 times, why don't you ever make dresses? You need to make a dress. I want you to make a dress. So this is a dress. This is a dress that I have made two ways, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I will show it to you and tell you what it was like to make, okay? Let me take a sip of, remember my gorgeous, gorgeous cup that was gifted to me? I only let myself use this on very special occasions. <laughs> so I decided since I'm actually wearing a dress for the first time in 20 years, I should have a pretty teacup. <laughs> mm. So good. All right, here it is. The pattern is new look, new look. 6095. Remember, oh, I can see the lights are shining in the TV. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I tried to sit where they wouldn't do that, but you just can't get away from it with this giant TV in the room. This is New Look. I really like New Look patterns. I have always had very good success with them, and one of the main reasons is they seem to realize that just because your chest grows and your hips grow, your shoulders don't grow clear out here to match them. Your shoulders are bones and they stay the same. Right there. So, most patterns I have to cut the, this uh, armhole way back or it's clear out here like a football player. So, um, the new look patterns don't do that on me. On other commercial patterns, I actually have to start with a size 10. Size 10 up here at the top to get the shoulders right. Sometimes an 8 to get the shoulders right. And then, of course, everything else is like super, super tight for a Barbie doll. So I have to do all these corrections below the neck. So anyway, this is new look. And I'm going to show you the corrections that I did that I always have to do on every pattern. To make this fit me the way I want it to fit, okay? Fit is very personal. If this dress fits you exactly like it fits me, you may think, oh my god, this is so baggy. Or you might put this dress on and think, oh, it's way too short, or it's way too long, or it's way too tight, or the neck's way too high. Fit is personal. Armholes. Armholes are a really big thing. I'll tell you what. There's a lot about Peggy Sagers that I think is kind of, oh, I won't even say what I think is. <laughs> but there's one thing that she talks about all the time. I was watching her on TV this morning on OETA on Fit to Stitch. And she talks about know how big you want your armholes. She came up to me once and I was asking her about fitting something. And she said, well, what size armhole do you like? I don't know. Well, she said, how many measurements, what's the measurement? How many inches do you like in your armhole? I don't know. I said, whatever's in the pattern, I guess. And so this is her thing. I mean, she rides this rail all the time. How big do you want your armhole? How big do you want your armhole? Well, hello. I actually know now. I like my knit armhole to be about 18 inches, and I like my woven armhole to be 19. So, yay for Peggy on that. I agree with her. So, let me grab my paper pattern and I will show you what I did for my particular body. I call them flaws. They're not flaws. God, he made, God made my body perfect. I'm telling you what, when you have dealt with handicapped people for 30 years and you see these poor, darling, little, beautiful babies, and they've got so many things wrong with their precious little bodies. I just thank God every day. I have arms that work and legs that walk. My five senses work. I can stand up. I mean, we have so much to be grateful for, you guys. <laughs> Had to get off on that. Let me grab my patterns. All right, we'll start with the front. Now, 
up here at the top, instead of me having to start with the size 10, I was able to start with the size 14. So I used the size 14 in the arm and then I came out to the 16 for the rest of the dress the whole way down. Now, you may notice this mega gigantic bust dart. <laughs> that bust dart is not in this pattern. This pattern probably has a bust dart for a B bust like most of them do. But I always have to do an FBA and for those who are new that's a full bust adjustment okay so I always have to do a full bust adjustment so my darts this gigantic now but when I did the full bust adjustment it added I think I add an inch and a quarter in here the whole way down it adds a little bit up here from your armhole to your boob it adds some more fabric right here which I probably don't really need <clears throat> and um, then the bust dart that fits me how do you determine how big of adjustments you need to make? You hold the paper up to your body, the original paper before you've done anything to it, and you put it on your body and you measure from the seam line over to the center of your chest. Mine comes out to be an inch or an inch and a quarter. Hence, the addition I have here, an inch or an inch and a quarter. This adds for my bust Excuse me, this one's falling off. <laughs> Hold it between my knees. <laughs> it adds what you need for your bust going over it and around it and every other which way. Okay, so that's the only adjustment I ever have to do to the front of the pattern. Because it's just a shift. You know, there's no waistline, there's no, um, no yoke, no anything like that. So that's all I had to do to the front. Which is amazing. And some of you have said, what's that Palmer push-up you talk about all the time? <laughs> Look in the description box below for the spelling. It's Palmer and Plesh. P-L-E-T-S-C-H. I think is how you spell Plesh. It's two ladies that started a business many, many years ago. Plesh is she's not dead, but she quit a while back. Palmer is retired, and now her daughter and some other people do it. Um, Pamela from Pamela's Patterns do it. Does it. Uh, you can pay her, go to her studio, and she will do these things for you. But you can go to YouTube, Google Palmer and Plesh, P-L-E-T-S-C-H, and all kinds of YouTube videos will come up, and you can watch them take the paper and make it fit a body. It's a wonderful system. Okay, so that's all. I, oh, no, that's not all I did to the top. I also took a tuck from up here at the neckline down to the my apex okay that's this right here this always gapes on me it always hangs open and you know it looks like it's a bib and can catch your crumbs and it does catch your crumbs and they go straight in your bra <laughs> i have to go in the bathroom and stick my hand in my blouse and up under my blouse pull my bra out and the crumbs fall out <laughs> i know i know it's crazy so anyway that's the front now in the back i always have the same problem this is why i need an fbi i'm not so huge in the bust but i'm really little up here i'm really little in this part right here my shoulders my whatever you call this part um, my back and my back neck i have a little neck i have a little head i belong to um what was it called the purple ladies the red hat ladies club one time and you had to wear these hats and they had to be red or purple and so i went to walmart and i bought myself a hat and a hat like came down to my nose when i put it on so i had to buy that that rubbery oh it's like a half inch wide and maybe a half inch thick and you put it around your doors to insulate your doors some kind of foam stuff and I had to put that all around in that hat to get it to stay up on my head and not cover up my whole face. So the point is I have a little head, little shoulders, a little hair, okay? So that's mainly why I have to do an FBA. So in the back, I'm the same way. The back neck always gapes. So up here, you can see maybe in the camera, I hope you can, that there's a line going from the neck over here to the armhole. And so I just cut that and crossed it over. So the back neck is smaller. 
Then I did my round back and I added a little bit of it here and a little bit of it here. And this is kind of strange and you'll think, well, that doesn't make sense. If you spread it out here and you take it in there, how can that make sense? I don't know, but it does. Because you need to put the correction where your body wants it to be. My body wants it to be more fabric up here to go over my rounded back. My body wants it to be less fabric here at the waist because I have a sway back. So I cut from here, I cut from here, which is center back all the way over to the side, and then that gives you a hinge, and then you just cross it over like that. Just cross it over as much as you need. And so then it crosses over 5 8 inch here, and it goes to nothing over there at the side seam. Okay? So that's all I did to the back. Sway back correction round back correction and narrow the back neck okay then when you do those corrections you always have to redraw the facings because it's going to really throw your facings off you won't be able to use the ones that came in the pattern but it's super super easy to draw the facing or you can take the facings that came with the pattern lay them down there on your pattern piece the front facing to the front the back facing to the back and cut them and manipulate them until they look like your new Palmer and Plushed pattern. <laughs> Somebody said Billy and I changed Palmer and Plushed into a verb. We did, didn't we? <laughs> okay, I have made this dress twice. This is dress version number one. You can see you can see my knee and this is a short version. I also made a long version. So I took some stills for you so you can see the front and the back of the dress made up two different ways. I'm going to put them right here for you to look at. All right, that's the end of my pattern review for New Look 6095. I really, really like it. And remember, if you can't see it very good, I'll pop a picture of this pattern up right here. Now, you can see it close, and you can see all the different um, ways they have it styled. Okay, that's it for today. I'll be back soon. Bye, Deb and everyone else. <laughs>